Hello my beautiful watchers and welcome to my review of Dead Bunnies. It has begun! And we start the movie with three idiots going to the woods for a bachelor party. Yes, I just said that. And yes, there are a bunch of weirdos. On the way there, they stop to get some food. Oh, <laughs> As a bunch of weirdos, no. they get in a fight with more weirdos and a nice representation of the people from that region. Ahem, hillbillies, and get kicked out. Goddamn stereotypes! And since watching these guys makes me want to see someone die and kill myself, the director was nice enough to give us our first kill! Thank you, Mr. Director! And after just enough bickering with some ahem, awesome chemistry, they finally arrive and meet up with two more party people. Party people in the house, say! Oh. And we got some character building, or whatever, that is a nice touch. And if most of them weren't so goddamn annoying, it will be quite enjoyable to watch. Jump to our main heroes, and we get a nice hammer kill. And that makes two. <laughs> Remember that couple that got into a fight with our peeps? Yeah, they're going to join the kill count. At least the guy. And that's free. The girl gets taken. Our bachelor party people continue their hiking until one of them decides to smoke a joint. And gets killed. What? Surprise, motherfucker! And his brain eaten? Well, that makes four. His friends go to check on him, and while using binoculars, ten meters away from the killers, they get discovered. So the chase is all like Donkey Kong. It's all like Donkey Kong! With kill number 5 and number 6, following soon after. Our two last survivors manage to escape but not for long as one of them gets a number 7 kill. The other one is taken. <laughs> and we get to see the girl from earlier. And what do we get? Well, let's call it a homage to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with Mama here being the host. And the twist here? Our boy is getting married to one of her boys. Well, isn't this cannibal movie fitting for our times? Quite woke, isn't it? Just so he doesn't escape his tendons are cut for good measure. Why not? Well, while our lovely new weds go to consummate their marriage, the girl escapes and manages to kill one of the brothers. That's eight kills. And thankfully for the groom, she manages to interrupt the Curtis. Though the other brother escapes, but not for long, as the girl gives the chase and dispatches him soon after, which gives us. I kill. Then she goes for a mama. But she is not to be messed with. Oh, well, she is. And yeah. Kill number 10! Kills and gore! I mean, 10 kills is not something to scoff at. They did not show the best kills, but it's more than enough to make up for it. The gore itself was really nice and well done. Uh, there's really not much else to say about it. Nudity! And I must say, I'm really unlucky lately when it comes to this category. No nudity whatsoever here. Well, at least if you don't count half a guy's ass that you can see for a second. Fine, I'll count it. One nudity. 
What does Grey Croc think? Well, as much as did I not like the characters, except the last girl. I, I did actually like her, she was fun. Uh, I actually enjoyed the movie. It wasn't anything special when it comes to the story, and eh? not super original. Except the wedding scene that felt taken right out of Twitter. But the movie does its job and is enjoyable enough to finish the viewing in one go. Mm. Remember to sub, like, comment, and send me news.